five iPhone settings you need to turn off right now. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some iPhone settings that you can turn off to increase your privacy and security. This can be useful if you just got an iPhone and you want to set it up so that it is nice and private, or if you've been using an iPhone and you just want to make sure that you have the settings set to the right privacy. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. All right, so to get started with turning off these iPhone settings, the first thing we need to do is simply open up the settings. And we can do that from the home screen here by swiping from right to left and then in the app library, searching settings. Once the settings come up, select it. Now that we're in the settings, the first thing I would recommend doing is scrolling down until we get to privacy and security and selecting privacy and security. Once in here, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see analytics and improvements. This is where we can control what data your iPhone sends back to Apple for analytics and things like that. For me, I turn off everything in here just because that increases your privacy on your iPhone where you're not sending a lot of data back to Apple. So I recommend turning off everything in here because that's a really good way of increasing your privacy. Once you've turned off these settings, select the back button. And then the next thing I would recommend doing is selecting Apple advertising. I recommend turning off personalized ads. This is where maybe if you've done a recent search on Google or a search engine, and then you start seeing ads for whatever you searched shown everywhere, this will block that within the ads that Apple shows you. So you should no longer see ads for things that you've searched or recommended for you specifically if you turn off personalized ads. Once you've done that, hit the back button in the top left, and then I recommend going all the way up to the top and we're gonna select tracking. Once you're in here, you wanna make sure that you turn off allow apps to request to track. This will prevent apps such as social media or other apps from tracking you in other apps on your iPhone. So they may use cookies or things like that, but if you turn this off, your iPhone will try to block that. So I recommend turning that off. Then select back in the top left and go to location services. And while you probably wanna make sure that you have location services enabled on your iPhone, I just recommend going through the list of apps that currently have access to your location and just consider if that app should actually have access to your location. If you see an app and you wanna change its location access, simply select it, and I'll use Amazon here, and you have a couple different options. You can first select never, and that'll prevent that app from ever having access to your location. You can also select ask next time, and if the app needs access to your location, maybe for shipping or searching, it'll ask you for location access. Additionally, if you're giving access to your location, you can turn off precise location at the bottom and the app will have a general idea of where you're at, but it won't know exactly where you're at, which can be useful for privacy. So we can go back. Once you've gone through all the apps and made sure that those apps should have access to your location, then just select settings in the top left to go back to the main page of the settings. And the next thing I recommend doing is selecting battery. And then in battery, select battery health and charging. And at the bottom, you'll see clean energy charging. Now this isn't really related to privacy, but it can really affect your iPhone's ability to charge. If this is turned on, your iPhone will only charge during times where low emission electricity is available. Now this can be useful if maybe you're on solar or something like that. So consider leaving it on based on your area, but your iPhone really doesn't use a lot of electricity. And I would prefer to have my iPhone fully charged rather than having it wait to charge until it is more carbon emission friendly. So this is just something that you can decide if you want to turn on or off. But for me, I turn off clean energy charging just because my iPhone doesn't use that much electricity. So once you've done that, go back to the main page of the settings here. And the next thing we're going to do is select general. Once you select general, scroll down a little bit and select background app refresh. And this is another thing where we just need to go through the list of apps that are on our phone and see if we want them to be able to be active when we're not using them. So this can be useful if maybe you get notifications from an app. So maybe like an email app where we want to get notifications if something's being close to being delivered like Amazon or Uber Eats. But having apps refresh in the background also uses your battery life and it could be a privacy issue. So I recommend going through this list. And if you see any apps that should not have the ability to refresh in the background, just go ahead and toggle that off. And then that app will only work when you have it open and you're looking at it. All right, so once we've gone through background app refresh, the next thing I would recommend doing is going back to the main page of the settings here. Then just scroll down until you see face ID and passcode. Go ahead and enter your passcode so that you can get in here. If you don't have face ID or passcode set up on your iPhone, I definitely recommend doing that. It's very important. 
Once we get in here, scroll down and we want to go to where it says allow access when locked. So this is where we can control what our iPhone can do when it's locked. So say someone gets your iPhone and they don't have the ability to unlock your phone, what can they do? So I recommend going through here and just making sure that you don't have anything turned on that you don't want to give them access to. So things like Siri, maybe home control where they could control different smart devices in your home. You can even turn things off like control center or notification center or today view and search so they can't search or even reply with message so that they can't reply to messages that they receive on your iPhone when it's locked. Now, one thing at the bottom, I do think that return missed calls is important because if you lost your iPhone, you could call your iPhone and then they could call you back. So I leave that on. So the last one for accessories is really up to you. Now, this might be useful if you use non-Apple chargers because when your phone's locked, you may not be able to charge your phone, but I have it turned off because this is how different hackers can get access to your iPhone. Even if it's locked, they can use it to kind of brute force their way in. So I recommend turning off accessories. If you notice any, any issues with charging your phone, things like that, then you can just turn it back on so that you have that access. So those were some settings that I think you should turn off on your iPhone. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.